All right, so I'm gonna break down these five clothing brands and not only show you the ads that I believe are the best to imitate, but their strategy behind them and how you should mimic them. Stick around until the end, and I'm also going to show you a fast track way to set up the ads exactly the way that they do, that have tested and proved. All right, so number five is a boutique. It is based out of the Dallas area called Shop Style Your Senses. And I'm gonna show you the ads. What's great about Foreplay is that I just basically put it in their new tool called Spider. I promise this is not a promotion for them, but just pulled up all of their past ads. So I'm gonna walk through their ads and more importantly, let's look at the ones that are working really well, things that you should mimic and why you should mimic them. What's cool about this spider tool is it actually does a lot of different things here, but it'll tell you where people are landing. You also have like mostly them videos or images. Interesting, they're not doing any carousels at all. We'll see throughout the rest of these brands. I think carousels may actually be a really good option. Images, videos. What I wanna do is I wanna go back to the very, very beginning here of like what's actually live and see what we can Copy. If you see here, we have grid video. Okay, same thing. Right. Grid video. Okay, they're doing this quite a bit. Grid video, grid video. So what you should probably suggest to do, or what I would suggest to do rather, is do a grid with a video. I've also seen some that are like grid on the right hand side, video on the left, and then the middle one of that grid actually is like a GIF and it's like showing the product as well. But it's very engaging right now. So these are newer ones. These are three days ago. But let's go back to some of the older ones. This is how I know that they're actually doing really well is because again, they're still using the same grid. If you look at this one right here, just kind of focusing on the grid, it's explaining the product, but then you have social proof right here as well. So this is an individual product breaking down the individual like details of the product. And let's just watch it here for a second. All right, I'm showing you all the colors that I have. It's so stinking sweet. I have the black one on right now. It's in this like buttery fabric that's actually- so The music's kind of loud. I'd probably bring that down just a little bit, but she's basically doing a walkthrough or like how you'd actually wear this product. So it's great. You're going to hit on those people. You have social proof. There's multiple colors. And because it's their own label, they probably are going super deep. If you go this route, make sure that you have a lot of products and going deep. One of the biggest mistakes clothing brands, or more specifically boutiques do, is they don't go deep enough. They go super wide because it's like, well, if I don't have a ton of products, I don't look like I have the legitimacy of another boutique when you could literally just sell super deep in a specific category. And then that's where you could actually get the most sales because you actually have stuff in stock. So they're able to run this ad for a long period of time. This was saved over a month ago and is still running today. Day. Other ones that are running, they download the app. I think this is also a big one here. This is kind of like a getting new customers that you should really look at, which is who are we? So welcome to your boutique or your clothing brand's name, more about who they are, who you are, and then literally a video. My name is Mallory and I got stuck. Okay, so she's breaking down who she is. She's gonna go through a little bit about what makes them unique. This is a great intro video. This has been running since June and actually turned off today. So it turned off today. September 25th, but ran from June to September. They probably just updated with a new one. I'll have to go to the top and actually see. But what I would tell you about this brand, grids, large, vibrant images, if you can, and videos to break down um, who you are and what makes you stand out. But this is all inside of here, inside of this swipe file here. But those are my main takeaways. There's not really any carousels, which there's some other brands that I think we should look at. There are a lot of grids. So check out that ad type. I think it could do really well for you. They've been running ads. 130 different ads are running right now. And most of them are videos some images, and mostly grid. Number four is Noah. Noah is a really cool, I would consider it a streetwear type of brand. Again, what they're doing is so simple. So if you are somebody who thinks that you have to have an amazing video editor, you have to have the creative design to do something, you really do not to get started. This is a brand that's doing millions upon millions of dollars per year, and it's like one of those things where simple sell. Okay, so this is literally just a high quality photo of all of their hoodies right there. Classic hoodie, made in Canada, 100% spring weight, French Terry. I, I don't know exactly if Canadians resonate with this or not, but it's been running for quite some time now. And it's shopping hoodies. It's showing you exactly what the product is. You're like, well, I like these colors. It's enough that I would actually click through. Same thing for the shirts. They're not doing anything special. <laughs> so this is actually made in the USA. So they had a bunch of hoodies that were made in Canada, focusing, I guess, on the Canadian market. And then t-shirt, simple, 
classic t-shirts with their brand, very tiny details, made in the USA. This has been working and running for a long period of time. I really love their videos though, because this is something where it's so simple, it's two seconds, and then like literally repeat. It's like, all right, find our best sellers, put them in a video, showcase them. Nothing like complicated about it. This one also has a benefit on it as well. So classic recycled cotton tee, 100% recycled cotton, made in USA. So there's a lot of benefit there. And then here's the, here's the actual video. That's it, no sound, just literally. Here's our kind of black, navy, white. Same thing for their hat, super clean. It's a white background. We know that like the standard, gold standard for high quality photos is like a white background. All they did was say, this is our five panel like uh, hat. Change the colors, right? We have purple, orange, black, blue, that's it. These ads have been running for a long period of time. People know exactly what it is. They don't have to guess. They're not intrigued by a crazy type of video that has to draw them in, which sometimes there is. Sometimes there's a really good need for that brand building. But honestly, right here, it's like, wait, if you like this hat, you're gonna click through, you're likely gonna buy because it's exactly what you thought that it was. It's why carousels do work. And again, we'll try to get into some examples of what carousels actually work. This is very, very simple. It's something you can set up right now and actually start making money. Think of your hero product. You don't even have to have a model. Sometimes we overcomplicate things. The, sometimes we being me, we overcomplicate a lot of the things that we need to do here. One thing I do wanna mention is if you want me to send you the swipe file of all the winning ads that we have been reviewing um, and more, like the rest of the ones that are gonna be in this video and then just the ones that we've been saving all over through time, just comment the word foreplay down below and I'll send it over to you and you can just get the swipe file and it dynamically updates for you as we continue to add winning ads. All right, so number three is industry. They're an Australian brand. I personally love this brand. I've ordered some pants from them. It took a little bit to get here from Australia, but the quality material, they're also very fashion forward. So a lot of the trends that were happening in Europe happened in Australia, and then they finally came to the US. So industry is like a little sneak peek into like what's gonna be trending in the next season. For example, they're going into summer, we're going into fall. And so they're always giving away or like selling their stuff at a discount when we're going into our season, which is nice. It's like, all right, we're getting ready to do our spring sale or our fall sale when we get ready to go into our next season as well. So you can get some good deals that way as well. But they've been around for a long time, since 1999, I believe. And just very, very specific audience that they're going after. It's a micro niche audience, which I love. They're serving those, I would say, professional type of people who like to wear casual clothes but still look good. Let's look at some of their um, their ads here. It's also, you're gonna see a lot of this stuff is very, very simple. Um, and then we'll go to the ads library as well because I need to save some more stuff here. This is it, like literally no sound. Just going through their summer best like products. 10 seconds. Upgrade your summer lineup with our favorite shirts and soft, lightweight, breathable fabrics shipping directly from the US. They, I guess, recently have figured out a way that they can ship from the US instead of Australia. That's even better for me, but this is it. 10 seconds. Best winning products that they have showing right here. They're also looking at, if you look at this, several different models to help resonate with an audience. Clean white background. Okay, so again, you're going to see some trends throughout here, and that's what I want you to do throughout the video. I'm trying to give you as much value as possible. Look at the trends and the similarities between all of the brands that I'm talking about. So right here, simple, clean shirt, background, says the brand name, white text, very simple. Same thing for the, uh, these look like joggers, fan favorite, sweats, hoodies, track pants. So they're mentioning several different items here, but again, they're showcasing them flat lay on the ground. Now this video right here, I did save this one, uh, is a very cool, dope video. I don't know if we'll have to mute it or not because of the sound, but you can check out the editing. So that one was an example of somebody who took a little bit of extra effort into the editing, but you still see the showcasing of the product and it's just one product line. So he does have the hat. He does everything. The product line, I guess the collection is really for summer, but um, he showcases everything. It's still nine seconds, which is interesting to me. Like all these examples of brands that we're seeing are all very, very short. They're not the 29 or 30 second videos that we've really been accustomed to. I think it's getting shorter and shorter. Show me what I need in like nine, 10 seconds max, which is really cool for industry. And then throughout, all they're doing, similar things here. Clean background, multiple products, very simple type videos. These ads have been running for a little bit of time now, weeks. Um, let's look at some of their older ones just so I can show you the ones that are live. Again, same strategy that they have. This one's been running since July. All of these videos, very simple, very clean, focused on one product. Now, you may not be able to do what industry does because you don't have um, as many items, but what you will see is that throughout this video, what I want you to do is if you're at the very, very beginning, 
maybe test out a few more products than normal, figure out which ones sell, but then go deep into a category. And that will let you, allow you to create the content and run for a longer period of time. Think of staple items that people always need. People always need t-shirts, people always need different types of dresses, people always need jeans, people always need pants. Like, think of your staple items and then 20% of them could be testing out different things, but you just have the 80%. You do not have to get fancy about making money, right? Industry is not, they've been around since 99, so a lot longer than a lot of other brands. All right, so number two is pink. Lily. If you are in the boutique world, you have definitely heard of this brand. They are very fashion forward. They literally started from scratch and are now doing hundreds of millions of dollars per year. Some things that we can take away from them that every single boutique should be copying and can be copying today. Number one, staying on trend. They have ads right now that have been running for a long period of time, but they were on the Barbie trend. This is very, very easy to do because there's already hype around it. So but they created outfits that they already had around Barbie, okay? And then this has been running for a long period of time. This has been running since July and it's still running to this day and they are making a ton of money. Now, the biggest thing here is that they are sending people to Let's Go Party, which could be literally Barbie or it could be a ton of other things, but they did a whole like landing page for Let's Go Party and it's everything pink, okay? Everything pink on here. They actually are selling some accessories and makeup stuff too, which, you know, whatever, we're talking about apparel here. But my point is everything pink right here and they could run this ad for as long as as possible. Pink does not necessarily go out of style, which is what is so great about this type of ad. Another cool thing about that I like about Pink Lily, let's look at this too. Probably cannot hear the song because it is the era's tour outfit inspiration, but let's look at what they actually did here. Everything here is a Terry, Taylor Swift. March 2023, this has been running. So this is a killer ad right here. They probably made a million dollars off of this. Let's watch it. Awesome, they picked outfits and then since they're using Taylor Swift uh, Eras Tour, they're literally picking outfits and then like labeling it for like, this is folklore. Like this is the outfit that you would wear to uh, represent yourself if you kind of resonated with folklore. I like this a lot. And where these ads are going though, outfits for the every era. Okay, so they just continue to update this. Also, if you would have jumped on this trend, Taylor Swift has done with the Eras Tour in the US. However, she is coming out with a movie in the US for the movie theaters. Guarantee you people are going to be going crazy and wanting outfits for the people who didn't go to the concert or are actually gonna go to the theater. And she's doing a European travel uh, as well. So this particular ad, I can see this running for another six months or more. Giving you insight into what makes it successful, running ads for a long, Long period of time testing ads figuring out a winner and then just continuing to let it run which means you have to have stock which means you send people to a category this ad right here these things they probably don't have that dress anymore I don't see it but there are a ton of other options they're all again outfits for every era which is a kind of a shout out to Taylor here they can't really use Taylor's name in the marketing everything here is specific to what you would wear to the era's tour or something similar for that okay so one other thing for this brand this ad's been running for 67 days right now. This particular outfit is in several different ads. Let's see where it actually goes. Um, but this is running errands, never looks so good. Our new athleisure collection is here. So it's a great product hero image for their athleisure. I don't even know if they still have this one in stock. They probably have restocked it because it's done so well. They do have it in stock, great. But it's to their whole athleisure collection. So one hero image, they're like, wow, this image did well. It continues to catch attention. People love it, it stands out. Okay, they don't even have it. Actually, that's a little confusing. I wouldn't do that. So they have that image there, but then I try to find the flower one, it's sold out. Must be doing well because they're still sending people there, but yeah, the flower one is sold out. I don't know how much they've made, but probably quite a bit. Still catching attention. Caught my attention here, but I, I, I was trying to click on the image, which is not available. But I could still browse their complete athleisure collection. And one other thing that you should know for ads is that sometimes the goal isn't necessarily to get a purchase. Now, it always is to get a purchase, but sometimes it's about getting the attention of somebody to get them to your site and they make make a different purchase than what they initially went there for. It's just, ah, how do I catch attention? And this particular outfit did, which is why it's been running since July and it's end of September 
uh, 67 days at this point, and it's still making money for this brand, which is really, really cool. Side-by-side -side images do really, really well. Feel this right here, right? Wear the outfit. Um, I, I don't know if you necessarily have to have the coffee in hand, but feel this side-by-side -side right here. It's just literally blended it. It's basically the same thing as a grid. There's just no line in the middle. But these are things that bigger brands are doing that you can copy. I also like to use brands that are also not quote unquote big, but that are just more like micro niche into a specific industry because a lot of people don't look at them as much as something like a Cuts or an ASRV or a Gymshark, which we have broken down before. But what are these little micro communities of people who are doing really, really well? What are they doing and how can you copy them? Okay, so this next one is a smaller brand. It is also a boutique, but they are absolutely killing it with some ads that have been running probably one of the longest I've ever seen ran that you should be using because the strategy behind this is absolutely amazing. But before we get into that, if you've got this far into the video and you're a clothing brand who needs a more personalized approach to growing your business, click the link in the description and schedule a free 45 minute strategy call so we can go over exactly how to scale your business profitably online. Just check out the link in the description down below. All right, so number one is Hazel and Olive. This is a boutique out of the Dallas DFW area. Again, local to us. I really love their brand, their messaging, everything that they're doing. Let's check out a couple of the things that they're doing really, really well um, that you guys should be looking at as well. This ad right here, this is a very popular artist, Morgan Wallen. We're probably gonna have to mute out the song, but just imagine us dancing and enjoying the song here. Okay, cool transitions to the outfits. Text here is very, very important, right? Look for a new concert outfit, shop our newest unique pieces. We know you will love them. Okay, great, that's simple, very simple, whatever. Same free day shipping from Texas. That is a benefit right there. Also, what's interesting and probably helpful too, if you look across these, is that concerts, events, things like that also get people to actually buy. And Morgan Wallen, I believe, is going to be, right now he's at 900 million, about to be the first um, artist to hit a billion digital downloads in one year, which is crazy for just one song. Still doing well. This ad has been running 327 days. November of last year, this ad has been running. Now, where are they sending people? Show you exactly where they're sending. Concert collections and outfits, right? Everything that is a vibe for a concert, they are sending people there. So as long as Morgan Wallen doesn't go out and do something that's going to be hurtful to his brand, they are going to be able to continue to run this ad, not because they're going to sell out of these items that are on the video, but because they're going to collect attention and social proof and send people to this page right here where they're like, whoa, I'm going to a concert. Turns out there's millions of people going to concerts every single day. So guess what? There's probably an ideal customer here for you as well. So they also know their audience, right? They're probably going to a country concert. These are the same people who probably went to a Taylor Swift that they're going to a Morgan Wallen concert. These are all outfits for that. Very, very cool. Great price points for it as well. Um, and then I also love this. They have great outfits that are coming soon just to get you to come back, check it out. Very, very smart play by them. Like I said, one of the longest running ads that I have seen 327 days. Go and absolutely copy this strategy here. Now, let's look at one other option they have here, or one other ones that they have. Upcoming event, date night, our best sellers are perfect for you. Click the shot, let's check this one out. Again, simple transition video showcasing the outfits. 418 days. I, I stand corrected. I thought the last one was the longest one. This one, same day shipping from Texas. Super simple text. Do you have an upcoming event? I do. Date night? Well, that date night should be happening at, you know, if you want to stay married or, or hopefully eventually get married, whatever. Probably going to be having a date night. So very relevant to the audience. And then where does it go? This is a very important piece here. Best seller. These are our best sellers for all of the events or things that are coming up and who they have really micro niched themselves into as an audience audience and then just continue to run that ad. They could honestly continue to scale this to a completely another level. And then last one here, brand name. Okay, looking for your next holiday party outfit. Okay, let's see what they send people. This one's been running for 264 days. Cocktail dresses. If you noticed anything, they send people from great pieces of creative to an amazing collection and then just let that ad run for a long period of time. Even if it does not have stock of that particular item, the category is in stock and they just run it. Facebook loves this as well, okay? So now I'm gonna be going over real quickly the way that you can get your ads set up to test them at scale, even if you have a small budget. So let's jump into ads manager real quick and let me show you exactly how to do this. Um, I want to show you exactly how it's set up. So click create, hit sales, go to continue, 
we're gonna do manual sales campaign. Now, what made this work? All right, so we're gonna go into the ad level and you're gonna see that this is going to allow us to run multiple ads at one time. This will allow you to figure out which of your ads throughout the ad testing are actually going to become winners. Like I said, even if you have a small budget, this allows you to test like four ads at a time. I would suggest probably three, we're doing four, but that's just a little bit higher of a budget. So for you, I would just look at this as how can we right now test three ads at one time to figure it out. So we have three different versions of a graphic and then we also have a video in here as well. You probably wanna just do one type, right? You can do all videos or do all images um, and figure out which one works. Two sets of primary text, two headlines, and then make sure everything is checked off. Now, that is the solution for exactly how to test your creative um, very, very quickly. All right, y'all, so if you want to know exactly how to set up the ads like I was showing you right here, literally from start to finish, go watch this video right here next. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.